Welcome back to AM Northwest. The clothes you wear tell people a lot more about you than you might think. Here to share how your image can impact whether you reach your goals, we welcome back personal branding expert Carol Parker Walsh. Good to see you. Good to see you too. All right, so how how can there be a rela- or is there a big relationship between your image and your goals? Absolutely, absolutely. Part of the challenge is that when people are creating their vision and their goals, they're so focused on what they want to have and what they want to get that they don't focus on who they need to become in order to achieve those goals. So your whole image or your brand, when you leverage that and align that with what you want to do and who you want to become, then that allows you to really accelerate your vision and accelerate your goals and actually step into what it is that you want to have or achieve. Have have experts found that what you wear can impact whether you get that promotion or not? Absolutely, absolutely. There have been so many studies that have talked about that what you wear not only impacts how you feel about yourself. Right, but it that also, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, but it also impacts how others see you as well. So, for example, if you're going for a promotion or you're trying to interview for a job, you know, we hear a lot about, you know, not dress for the job that, don't dress for the job that you have, but dress for the job that you want, right? right? We've heard that. And that's the reason, because when you are already showing up, into where you want to be or who you see yourself becoming, right. then it comes more to fruition and people see you in that role. So you're more likely to get that promotion, to get that job. I, I bet you a lot of people, though, don't see themselves the way maybe others see them. No, no. It's the, you know, it's interesting. It's the last thing people think about because they think what they wear is very trivial, right? They right. think it really doesn't matter. It's about the skill sets. It's about, you know, all of the other kind of accoutrements that come with achieving the things that you want to achieve. Right. But they forget that 93% of our communication comes from our appearance. Right. So the people first judge you thing, on what you're wearing. The first thing we see is what's in front of us. Right. And that's what we judge and we value everything by. So if other people are seeing that, when we look in the mirror, when we wear that, it allows us to really um, augment our confidence level. You know, we can really leverage that to really step into that role, step into that place. You have a three-step... Um suggestion here on what to do. Determine your goal is the number one. Absolutely, absolutely. This is the perfect time of the year. I love this time of the year to do vision boards, to um, establish what your goals are for the next year because it gives you a running start to get started. I hate yeah. starting January 1st. It's just, it just seems crazy or counterintuitive to me. You need, with anything, you need kind of a running start to get going. Oh, that makes sense. Right, yeah. so this is a great time to really think about and plan that. So the first thing you have to do is really gain clarity about where it is that you see yourself going, what it is that you want to become. Not just what you want to have, but who it is that you want to become in order to achieve the things that you want. So be clear about that. Set your goals, do your vision boards right now. Okay, and when you say do your vision board, is that a picture of somebody in that position that you want? Exactly. It's where you see yourself being in the future. So okay. as we look at 2019, if you have a goal to, um, even if you have a goal to say even to lose weight, it's not just about the idea of setting that on the board to lose weight. It's who do you want to become in order to change the lifestyle in order to do that. And is that personal brand? And that's part of your personal brand. So even if it's even even if something as simple as going to buy some really nice exercise clothing okay. to wear that, as opposed to that old t-shirt that you know used to be your partner <laughs> right. That you throw on oh, with those so old comfortable. Shirts. Exactly, exactly. How would that really get you in the mindset to right. really feel like, okay, I'm ready and equipped to go after what I want to go after, right? Okay, and then you say leverage your personal brand to gain the confidence. Absolutely. So uh, when to act you, as if it's already happened. Absolutely. So when you set your goal and when you set that vision, what you do is you leverage your brand, what you're wearing, in order to align that to where you see yourself. So you really step into who you already want to be, right? So you're embodying your vision right. by shifting your brand brand is shifting your image. Have you had clients come to you and they look one way and really on the inside, they want to be something else completely? Absolutely. Like most, we- most of the time it's confidence, right? Most of the time people want to go after something they don't quite feel confident about it or they're in a position that they don't feel comfortable about holding or they want to achieve something or complete a project, but they aren't sure about whether or not they can actually do it or they question their skill sets. And I have had clients email me, call me, text me and say, this stuff works. You know, I went to a meeting and all of a sudden now they're asking me to be on the executive council because they're seeing me as someone, as a thought leader. So the whole, or how I showed up at a meeting, now all of a sudden I'm getting greater responsibility or they're coming to me saying, have you thought about this other position in our company that's greater responsibility or promotion and because of how they show up, because they feel more confident right. in what they're wearing. And is it because maybe they cleaned up their act and dressed a little better or what is, what is that? Well, it, it really 
lends itself. Like I said, to go back to the study, what we wear impacts what we feel about ourselves. Right. So if you're wearing something that makes you feel confident, and we know this intuitively, right? right. We know we put certain things on, we, we walk a little bit differently, we sure. step into a room a little bit differently, it's because it impacts how we feel. So when you're constantly wearing those things that are aligned with who you are and where you're going, then it supports you and gives you the confidence to be able to speak up more, to show up more confidently, to speak up at that meeting, and to feel confident about the things that you want to share. And so you show up differently and it has a different result for you in that space. Is it, is it possible ever that someone has an appearance, and I'm, I'm trying to think of something that looks more like an artist, and really he or she wants to be more of a computer engineer. Is there Does that ever happen? Well, you know, that's an interesting thing. People who have... Um, where they're more of an artist in their background, right? If they're going for a computer engineer, if they truly are maybe an artistic spirit, I would say still show up in that artistic spirit with a little slant toward computer engineering. Right. You always want to, at your baseline, compliment and dress in the manner that fits you personally, right? right? You and always want to be authentic in how you are. So you don't want to totally shift from one thing to a, something totally different. Right, don't, yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't, you don't, don't want to fake be, it. Don't fake it, don't fake it. So if you're an artist, for example, and you want to go into a firm, for example, that's computer engineering, you may want to um, add different colors or patterns or change maybe the style or the silhouette of the look that you're wearing, but you don't want to totally abandon who that is and yeah. who you are to be something that's totally different. That's not in alignment of your goals or where you want to be, right? Because at yeah. the core, you always want to be authentic to who you are. Absolutely. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Carol, thank yeah. you very much.